my previous relationship that I had just... Hi, welcome back to Talk Back for Teams. I'm your host, Zoe Sullivan, and I'm here at Arondequoit High School, and we picked the topic for relationships in high school, and I'm with some students from IHS. Can you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Kaylee Rose. Right. Manny Acosta. Uh, Terry Whaley. I'm Jen. Ronnie Perry. I'm Lovis. All right, thank you guys for coming. So I'm going to start off the conversation with, um, how much drama do you think happens in high school just based on relationships? And feel free to, you know, use personal experiences. <laughs> a lot. Um, part of the reason is because a lot of um, stuff happens during high school. Like um, maybe something like um, somebody might get pushed the wrong way and then they don't think of it any type of way. They just go ahead about their business and then someone or their friends come out of nowhere and, you know, oh, how are you going to let him push you like that? And then that's how a lot of fights start and Instigating drama, it. rumors, and a lot, just a lot. Mm -hmm. How does that really tie into relationships, the fights, mm -hmm. and the fighting? Okay. Part of the reason is because sometimes when you're in a relationship and, you know, a lot of people know you, they start to build up rumors about you and your relationship, and that can cause you and your partner or whoever that may be to, you know, argue or, you know, break up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone else have anything? Pretty much agree with everything he just said, but... How are relationships positive, positive and negative in the school environment just day to day? Positively, you know, you might get a good feel off of it or a good vibe or, you know, it might necessarily feel just positive in a sense, but negatively, you know, it could be too much pressure for you, or it's just not too much for you to handle, and you just, you know, it's too much for you. Why would it be too hard to handle? Maybe your partner is kind of clingy, maybe it's just like positive and negative kind of thing, you're positive, negative kind of dealing with always their problems. Uh, being dragged into their problems kind of thing, you know. But in relationships, aren't you supposed to help people with, help your significant other with their problems? I mean, yeah, but there's, to an extent, if, if they ask you to, you know, kind of just vet for them, then yeah, you could do that. You could try to help them out, but then there's an extent where that person tries to drag you into everything and it gets to that point where it actually stresses you out. Mm -hmm. So. And what does that do for uh, someone's relationship with their schoolwork and all that jazz? Well, they can kind of get thrown off and you know, you, you might be working on something and all you think about is that one prop. All you think about is, oh, Jenny's so hurt. Something, I don't know, just something you, kind of like that. You might be become overwhelmed with their problems and trying to do school, or maybe you miss an assignment and try to, you know, work on that assignment, but all the while somebody's texting you and, you know, crying and trying to, and you're sitting there in class trying to consult them. And um, it's just, some people don't even, they, they really don't even take all your advice. So um, I, I tend not to, you know, I tend not to con try to help people most because if you're not going to use my advice, why should I give it to you? And I think everybody has their own, you know, own mind and they can follow whatever they want to follow. I'm probably going to, at the most, since I'm nice, a nice person, I'm going to tell you once of, of what I think. And then if you don't like it, then you just go, I guess, get some more advice from somebody else. <laughs> Another thing to kind of, like, go at that would be say you're in class like you said you're trying to work and that person's texts you saying oh this just happened this just happened they're they're you know you're trying to focus on your work but then again you're trying to vent and it's either it's gonna clash so it's just gonna mess you up mm -hmm. <clears throat> so yeah 
So would you say it's easier or harder to have a relationship while you're in high school? It's definitely harder because you got things to focus on. You got school, your family, you know, maybe trying to find a job, money, and just maybe trying to get your license. But uh, like definitely weight on the shoulder would be a relationship at the same time. Mm -hmm. I think it's hard to have a relationship in high school, but I think it's also worth trying to have a relationship in high school. Um, just because even though it may be hard, they can also be there to help you. Mm -hmm. And um, you can't just get through things on your own. You have to have friends and other people to help you. Right. So. so why do you think that teenagers care so much about having a relationship while they're I in high like, school? Sorry. <laughs> I feel like it makes them either look cool or they just want someone else to help carry the weight of their sh the weight on their shoulder. Mm -hmm. Help them help them with that. Or maybe you just want somebody that you can you know that you can go to and talk to whenever you know times get rough or maybe that person is in dire need of your help at the time and you just end up falling in a relationship with them because you know the stuff that they might go through or you might go through you guys might have been you know you might have somebody might have went through you know something and you might have went through it and you can give them the advice that helps you get through it and and um <laughs> you can um you can also make a that, that can also make a relationship stronger like um that's probably why we care so much about having, you know, a relationship in high school is because sometimes you just need some someone that you could talk to to get your mind off of all the schoolwork that you're doing. Like mm -hmm. it, it gets overwhelming and it's stressing, stre stressful um, trying to do work 24 seven. And, you know, then again, you don't want to fall behind on work because if you do, high school doesn't stop giving you work. It keeps coming and coming and coming. And while you're trying to catch up on that one project that you missed a couple of weeks ago, there's like four other projects that you have to catch up on. And then that causes students to, you know, fall behind with their grades. Yeah. Um, me adding on to that would be, you know, it's important sometimes to have a relationship because let's say you've never had a relationship and you want to go out into the real world. If you go out into the real world and you get hurt, you're not really gonna know how to deal with that because you've never really dealt with that. Right. And if it, it's like preparing yourself. It's when you're in high school, you wanna prepare yourself. You wanna learn from your mistakes. You wanna learn what you want and what you don't want, the pros and your cons. So it would be important to have a relationship in high school, you know, just to learn what, just to learn about yourself, learn about what you're into, learn about, you know, what you wanna go for. And if you go out into the real world, let's say college, and you find somebody and then that person ends up cheating on you, you're not gonna know how to deal with it because you've never dealt with something like that. You've never had to, you never chose to. So it's, it's definitely, you know, it's like an early start. It's like an early start. Yeah. You gotta learn about what you're gonna go for. Yeah, and I don't you know how to deal with it. So. And that and on that, um, it's kind of basically even even you never give up on having a relationship with anybody because, you know, even though you might not have the best relationship or, you know, it might not be the best thing for you, it's still a good experience to have because, like he said, you know, you can learn from it and you can get all your own, um, you can get all your um, experience yeah, definitely. That, that you need from it. and. Um, it definitely helps you in the long run. Right. Kind of like a trial run. Yeah. yeah. Anybody else? How about you? Okay. <laughs> Go for it, man. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> the question was, um, wow, I forgot what the question was. Let's go with the new one. <laughs> is dealing with high school harder or easier when you're in a relationship? Yeah. How about we build <laughs> off of that? <laughs> Uh, I would say it's definitely harder because, um, you know, when you go out with someone or you get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you take on everything about that person. You take some of their dislikes because you end up being around them for 70 to 85 percent of the day. Mm -hmm. And uh, it also, it could be a good thing. Because, you know, it's good to have another person, a support system, or someone that you can say that you actually love because, you know, at 14, 15, 16 years old, 
you don't really understand the concept of love, or I mean, you think you do, but uh, like he said, it's kind of like a trial error. You know, you mm -hmm. can find <laughs> what you like about people, what you don't like about people, and you can also find how to treat someone well and how not to treat someone well. <laughs> but what about when relationships don't exactly go well? Do you learn from that too? Yes. Most definitely. <coughs> and in what ways? Um, <laughs> whatever doesn't kill you can make you stronger. Like um, <laughs> emotionally. That Kelly Clarkson song. <laughs> emotionally, you can um, you can bounce back from uh, a bad breakup or you know a, a very bad relationship, and then that can also lead the way for you to find the uh, love of your life. You know, because that friend that you have, um, they can be there for you, and if you're smart enough, you'll see that early on and. That can be, you know, your partner for hopefully the rest of your life. Which those chances are very slim. Mm -hmm. so. And what have you learned from relationships in high school? Not just yourself, but even people around you. I basically learned that, like, they'll the person that you're in a relationship with, they'll try to be there for you as much as they can, but you have to kind of deal with things by yourself sometimes. And if they're like stressing you out. You basically just have to like break up with them like it's not the end of the world. Thank you, Jennifer. Very insightful. Welcome. <laughs> okay. So what else have you guys learned from any relationships, not just seen but experienced? That uh, maybe if you're with someone for a long period of time it could be harder to yeah, let things well. go. Um let's say you're with someone for a year and a half and that person maybe decides to just let it go, just to let it go, you're left dealing with the pieces. Mm -hmm. And, you know, maybe that could be the best relationship you've ever been in. It's going to be essentially the hardest to get over because you're, you know, you still may have that feelings, but that person's just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but anyway, um, it's just got to just keep going on. Do anything in your will to just let it go, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. How do you deal with school on top of just getting out of a hard relationship and trying to deal with that as well? Hang out with your friends and try to avoid the per if like the person's in your school, try to avoid them go different routes if you know the same route that they take. Mm -hmm. Just go a different way um, and just, yeah, just hang out with friends who can distract you. Right. But keep you on the same track of schoolwork. Mm -hmm. You kind of don't want to go on a different route sometimes because you don't want to let a person like change you and who you are. You also want to be yourself and you know you might, you might be hurt but you kind of want to show that person that I'm strong too and I can go through this and, you know, maybe that person, if you're lucky enough, you'll probably come back or he, he or she, whichever one it is, and um, you'll probably come back and, you know, you, you can, they can feel that peace in your heart again, even though it's kind of hard because once you lose something, it's hard to, like, forget, like, all the pain that you went through to do all that. And me being young, I'm only 15. I'm, I'm still learning, um, you know, I just got out of like a seven month relationship. I, I'm, I'm doing pretty, I was doing pretty good, you know, I kind of messed up a few times, but I stumbled, you know, and I, I kept going, you know, like, like Hiram said, you know, you gotta keep going, you gotta keep going with the, um, with your feelings and, you know, you gotta, if you really care for that person, you, you will be there. And um, sometimes you might have to just let things go because you guys are not in the right place in you know your life to be in a relationship. And I've noticed that because you know, like I said, I just got out of a relationship like a couple weeks ago, and it was it was hard at first, but I bounced back, and now I'm just being me. And that's all I can do. Yeah, that's agreeable. I mean, like him, I got out of a relationship like a month ago, and it was a long relationship. I mean, you know that. Yeah. And it was, it was, I had my roads. I mean, 
I never really messed up, but there was times where I felt like I was going to, but I just kept on pushing through. And you know, gotta keep going. Cause you never know when that road is just gonna be like, yo, stop, bro, like, mm -hmm. for real. And so, you know, just ask your question again. <laughs> you, you live and you learn, I guess. You know, you live, make mistakes, and you have to counter off of that mistake. And right. you know, you can't change what's already happened. So, the only thing mm -hmm. you can do is either be there or not get be lost. there. Right. All right. So. Do you girls think that guys have different perceptions of how a relationship should be than a girl would? Yes. And elaborate. Um, <laughs> in my previous relationship that I had just, I've been out of for a little while now, um, well, the person was really clean. Mm -hmm. And he had to either hold my hand or have his arm around my waist or we had to either kiss in public, and I was not about that. I, I mean, yes, I would hold hands, but I didn't really like all the PDA that he really wanted. Mm -hmm. And so I felt uncomfortable, and he thought that that's what a relationship was all about, is being all PDA-ish. And I'm yeah. like, no. <laughs> Sometimes it's even the other way around. Sometimes the girl's really clingy, and then the guy's yeah. like, yeah. So, so um, how about you, Jen? I mean, I think sometimes they can, but like usually in high school you guys are around the same age and you like like the same things if that's putting it in the same in the right way. Like I don't know, I guess like you guys can have like the same thought. About have the it. same interests. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> I mean I guess so, yeah, sure. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you for um, tuning in to Talk Back for Teens. And uh, yeah, you can come back for more. Check out our website, Talk Back for Teens with a four. And you can check out our Twitter four. and our Instagram and our Facebook and all that jazz. So don't get off of your computer until you check those out. Thank you for watching. Yep. Thank you.